Good evening, this is Chris coming to you from Utah. Uh, Bob is unable to join us tonight, and Alan's unable to join us due to work concerns. So we're going to go through the um, evening prayers as well as the uh, sorrowful mysteries of the road. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Born of a virgin, Jesus, son of Mary, loving creator of your virgin mother, while we sing praise of a holy virgin, smile on your servants. Gentle and tender in her youthful beauty, strong and intrepid was her inner spirit. Martyr and virgin, she with twofold art conquer all, conquered all evil. Hell and torture could not shake her courage. Death found her fearless, all its pains surmounting, giving her lifeblood. Her pure soul departed swiftly to heaven. God of compassion, through her intercession, spare our offenses, habits prone to evil so that our praises from pure hearts arise and may give you glory. Amen. You cannot serve both God and mammon. It is difficult for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. Hear this, all you people. Give heed all who dwell in the world, men both low and high, rich and poor alike. My lips will speak words of wisdom. My heart is full of insight. I will turn my mind to a parable. With the harp, I will solve my problem. Why should I fear in evil days the malice of the foe who surround when who trust in their wealth and who trust in their wealth and boast of the vastness of their riches? For no man can buy his own ransom or pay a price to God for his The ransom of his soul is beyond him. He cannot buy life without it or avoid coming to the grave. He knows that wise men and fools must both perish and leave their wealth to others. Their graves are their homes forever, their dwelling place from age to age, through their names spread wide through the land. It is in his riches man lacks wisdom. He is like the beasts that are destroyed. Glory to the Father and to the Son as it was in the beginning, is now, will be forever. Amen. You not, cannot serve both God and mammon. Man upon, store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, is the Lord. This is the lot of those who trust in themselves, who have others at their beck and call. Like sheep, they are driven to the grave, where death shall be their shepherd, and the just shall be, become their ruler. With the morning, their outward show vanishes, and the grave becomes their home. But God will ransom me from death and take my soul to himself. And do not fear when a man grows rich. When the glory of his house increases, he takes nothing with him when he dies. His glory does not follow him below. Oh, he flattered himself while he lived. Men will praise me for all my success. Yet he will go to join his fathers, who will never see the light anymore. In his riches, man lacks wisdom. He is like the beasts that are destroyed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Make our mouth speak your wisdom, Lord Jesus, and help us to remember that you became man and redeemed us from death. We might merit the beauty of your life. Store up for yourselves treasure in heaven, says the Lord. The third antiphon, adoration and glory belong by right to the lamb who was slain. Adoration and glory belong by right to the lamb who was slain. O oh Lord our God, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and power. For you have created all things. By your will they came to be and were made. Worthy are you, O oh Lord, to receive the scroll and break open its seals. You were slain. With your blood you purchased men of every race and tongue 
of every people and nation. You made of them a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they shall reign on the earth. Worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Adoration and glory belong by right to the Lamb who was slain. Reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verses 32b and 34. The unmarried man is busy with the Lord's affairs, concerned with pleasing the Lord. The virgin, indeed, any unmarried woman, is concerned with being the Lord in pursuit of holiness in body and spirit. The virgins are led into the presence of the king amid gladness and joy. The virgins are led into the presence of the king amid gladness and joy. They are brought into the king's dwelling place amid gladness and joy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The virgins are led into the presence of the king amid gladness and joy. Canticle of Mary. Saint Cecilia kept the gospel of Christ every near, ever near her heart. Day or night, she never ceased praying and speaking with God. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. St. Cecilia kept the gospel of Christ ever near her heart. Day or night, she never ceased praying and speaking with God. Intercession. Christ extolled those who practice virginity for the sake of the kingdom. Let us praise him joyfully and pray to Jesus, example of virgins, hear us. Christ, you presented the church to yourself as a chaste virgin to her spouse. Keep her holy and inviolate. Jesus, example of vir virgins, hear us. Christ, the holy virgins, went out to meet you with their lamps alight. Keep the fidelity of your consecrated handmaids burning brightly. Jesus, example of virgins, hear us. Lord, your virgin church has always kept its faith whole and untarnished. Grant all Christians a whole and untarnished faith. Jesus, example of virgins, hear us. You have given your people joy in celebrating the feast of your holy virgin. Give us constant joy through her intercession. Jesus, example of virgins, hear us. You have admitted the holy virgins to your marriage banquet. In your mercy, lead the dead to your heavenly feet. Jesus, example of virgins. At this time, we would ask if you have any uh, intercessions you'd like to look up, you may do so. Um, if you're joining us on YouTube, you can do so. You can put those in the comment section. We, we can go and do those and put them in our 
Lord, I'd ask you to watch over all of our families, um, needy and uh, the poor during this time, um, during these cold nights, that you they may find shelter and a, a warm meal to eat, that you would provide them with a, a place to be and a, get a warm meal. Lord, I'd ask you to watch over all those that are facing, facing any type of addiction, that they could turn to you, Lord, for their strength and rely on you, Lord, to help them through their struggle. Through their addiction. Lord, I'd ask you to bless all those who are participating in the rosaries on a daily basis and watch over them, Lord, and help them help them uh, keep the evil one at bay, that they, their commitment to the rosaries and their commitment to you, you Lord, would help them in uh, keeping the evil one at bay. I ask you, Lord, to watch over all those that are sick, that are that are in the hospital or facing any type of sicknesses that, that Lord, they would turn to you for strength and that you would help them in their healing process. Lord. Our father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is. In heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O God, who gladdened us each year with the feast day of your handmaid, St. Cecilia, grant we pray that what has been devoutly handed down concerning her may offer us examples to imitate and proclaim the wonders worked in his servants by Christ your lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. As usual, if you're joining us, uh, on YouTube, you can do so. If and you'd like to join us live, you can do so at flame-keepers.com. Um, as usual, we'll go through the 15 promises of the rosary. And if I'm doing it by myself, I think we'll just do it. Uh, the Blessed Virgin Mary promised to St. Dominic and to all who follow that whatever you ask in the rosary will be granted. She left for all Christians 15 promises. Respect Holy Rosary, as imparted to Saint Dominic and Blessed Alexander Rose. Whoever shall faithfully serve me by the recitation of the Rosary shall receive no graces. I promise my special protection and the greatest graces to all those who shall recite the Rosary. The Rosary shall be a powerful armor against all who will destroy vice, decrease sin, and defeat heresy. The Rosary will cause virtue and good works to flourish will obtain for souls the abundant mercy of God. It will withdraw the hearts of men from the love of the world and its vanities, and will lift them to the desire for eternal things. All that souls would sanctify them by this means. The soul which recommends itself to me by the recitation of the rosary shall not perish. Whoever shall recite the rosary devoutly applying himself to the concert consideration of its sacred mystery shall never be conquered by misfortune. God will not chastise justice. He shall not perish by an unprovided death. If he be just, he shall remain in the grace of God and become worthy of eternal life. Whoever shall have a true devotion for the rosary shall not die without the sacraments of the those who are faithful to recite the rosary shall have during their life and at their death the light of God and the plenitude of his graces. At the moment of death, they shall participate in the merits of the saints in paradise. 
I shall deliver from purgatory those who have been devoted to the rosary. The faithful children of the rosary shall merit a high degree of glory in heaven. You shall obtain all you ask of me by the recitation of the rosary. All those who propagate the Holy Rosary shall be aided by me in their necessities. I have obtained from my divine son that all the advocates of the Rosary shall have for intercession. The entire celestial court during their life and the, at the hour of death. All who recite the Rosary are my sons and daughters and brothers and sisters of my only son, Jesus Christ. Devotion of my Rosary is a great sign of predestination. O oh, Immaculata, I renew my consecration to you. May I surrender myself to you completely and in every way. This evening we'll be praying through the Sorrowful mystery, Mysteries, beginning with the Apostles' Creed, followed by our, I think we'll do a short email. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our intentions, we are praying today for an increase of faith, hope, and charity. We are praying that grace and peace would be ours in abundance through the knowledge of God and of Jesus Christ our Lord. Especially during Advent, may we await with joy the second coming of the Lord, witnessing our loyal dedication to you. In November, am I intention? We ask for the authority over the fear of death, authority over the spirit of the fear of death, and authority over death itself to manifest through our lives. And we also lift as our intention for this road through the prayer of St. Paul from his epistle to the Ephesians, chapter 3, verses 16 through 19. We pray that God would grant us according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with power through his spirit in our inner man so that christ may dwell in our hearts through faith and that we being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth and to know the love of christ as is all we may be filled up all the fullness of we lift up the corporal and spiritual prosperity of our parishes and the diocese of salt lake city utah and boise idaho we ask for wisdom for Bishop Solis and Christian to shepherd God's flock. We lift the intentions of Fathers Vidal, Sternhagen, Lustig, and all the priests in the Diocese of Salt Lake City, Utah, and Boise, Idaho. We pray for a 100-year vision for the Flame Keepers that we might spread the fire of God's love throughout Utah, Idaho, and the whole world. We lift up the daily Zoom rosaries. We're asking for an increase inwardly and fruitfulness outwardly. We lift up the next daily Sacred Heart of Jesus 30-day power pods whenever we're scheduling it. We're asking for wisdom and revelation in the intimate knowledge of Christ's Sacred Heart and an increase of friendship among all flame keepers. We lift up our weekly Zoom captains training. We're asking for the Lord to raise up captains of 10, captains of 50, captains of 100s, and captains of 1,000s. We lift up the weekly Burning Lunch Young Adult Fire Pit every Friday night at 7 p.m. We ask for revival among the young adults of Utah and Idaho and the whole world. We're asking for an increase of faith, wisdom, revelation, and Holy Spirit fire. We're asking for a harvest of souls. We lift up the Joshua Project, the Eucharist Youth Revival in February of 2023. We lift up our monthly friendship breakfast in Leighton, Utah at St. Rose of Lima Catholic Church every third Saturday at 9 a.m. We are praying for relationships to deepen and love to increase. We lift up our monthly fire pit fellowships in Malad, Idaho and at the St. Paul Mission every first Sunday at 5 p.m. We are praying for relationships to deepen and love to increase. 
lift up the annual men's retreat, 13th annual uh, men's retreat, August 11th through the 13th, 2023 in Bloomington, Idaho. We ask for grace on all those who volunteer to help steward the 2023 retreat. We ask for grace on our advertising and the registration project. We pray, Lord, that the 2023 retreat would be marked by its signs and wonders, an abundance of signal graces, undeniable pro prophetic significance for both Utah and Idaho, a huge increase, increase of youth and young adults, and a harvest of souls. We ask, Lord, that you, that just as Our Lady of Guadalupe brought in millions of souls, our Lady of Utah and Idaho, Our Lady of the Hills, bring in tens of millions of more souls through his eternal retreat. Praying for the will of the Blessed Mother and service to the Blessed Mother for the glory of the King, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Praying for the gifts of faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, we love you. Save the souls in the, of the unborn children, all souls in purgatory, all priests and religious, and all marriages and families. St. Therese of Lisieux, pray for us. The first sorrowful mystery is the agony in the garden. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Agni of Jesus in the garden. Then Jesus came with them to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took along Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to feel sorrow and distress. And he said to them, My soul is sorrowful even to death. Remain here and keep watch with me. He advanced a little and fell prostrate in prayer saying, My Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass for me, not, yet not as I will, but as you will. He was in such agony, and he prayed so fervently that the, his sweat became like drops of blood falling on the ground. In forsaking prayer to the Father, Jesus found strength, trust, and an angel was sent to comfort him. So Jesus will be our comforting angel. It's as he said to us, why do you worry in your difficulties? Be strong in me, look to your God in your most troubled hour, and you will be triumphant. Let us ask, forsake ourselves to God, to always do his will. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, we love you. Save the souls of the unborn children, all souls in purgatory, all priests and religious, and all marriages and families. St. Brigida of Sweden, pray for us. Second sorrowful mystery is the scourging of the pillar. When the morning was come, all the chief priests and elders of the people counsel against Jesus to put him to death. And when they had bound him, they led him away and delivered him to Pontius Pilate, the governor. And Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, saying, Art thou the king of the Jews? Jesus said unto him, Thou sayest. And when he was accused of the chief priest and elders, he answered nothing. Then said Pilate unto him, Hearest thou not how many things they witness against thee? And he answered him, To never a word. Pilate saith unto them, What shall I do then with Jesus, which is called Christ? They all said unto him, Let him be crucified. And the governor said, Why, what evil hath he done? But they cried out the more, saying, Let him be crucified. And so Pilate, willing to content the people, released Barabbas unto them and delivered Jesus when he had scourged him to be crucified. How many pains, many torments, and how many wounds on the body of Jesus! How much blood falls to the ground while his tor tormentors laugh! insult him and gather their strength to get the innocent body of Jesus again. Let us ask to accept every insult for the love of our Lord and also a true regret for our sins. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against him. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord, to the Father and to the Son. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, we love you. Save the souls of the unborn children. All souls in purgatory, all priests and religious, and all marriages and family. The third sorrowful mystery is the crowning with thorns. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus inside the praetorium and gathered the whole cohort around him. They stripped off his clothes and threw a scarlet military cloak about him. Weaving a crown out of thorns, they placed it on his head and a reed in his right hand. And kneeling before him, they mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. They spat upon him and took the reed and kept at striking him on the head and when they had mocked him they stripped him of the cloak dressed him in our, his own clothes and led him off to crucify him think of the indignity outrage pain and humiliation that jesus suffered they stripped him of every dignity he was treated as the guilt of our worst he seems to say to us why do you despair when you suffer is that the way you love me? Meditate about my passions and find in them great riches. Let us ask the gift of patience. All humiliations, thinking of how Jesus suffered for us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who Lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall, a world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, we love you. Save the souls of the unborn children, all souls of Glory, all priests and religious and all marriages and families. Uh, Saint Gertrude the Great, pray for us. Fourth sorrowful mystery is the carrying of the cross. As they led him away, they took hold of a certain Simon, a Cyrenian, who was coming in from the country. And after laying the cross on him, they made him carry it behind Jesus. A large crowd of people followed Jesus, including many women who mourned and lamented him. Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep instead for yourself and your ch for your children. For indeed, the days are coming when people will say, Blessed are the barren, the wombs that never bore, and the breasts that never nurse. At that time, people will say to the mountains, Fall upon us, and to the hills, cover us. For if these things are done when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? Now two others, both criminals, were led away with him to be executed. Even if he had suffered just for you, Jesus would have accepted such things. Great is his love for you. Along the road to Calvary, Jesus sees Mary, his mother. Can we imagine the moment when their eyes met? Oh, how her heart must have ached. Let us pray to Mary for the grace to always accept our cross so that she and Jesus may bear it. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, my women. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thine mercy. Mary and Joseph, we love you. Save the souls of the unborn children, all souls in purgatory, all priests and religious, and all marriages. And Saint Matilda, pray for us. The fifth powerful mystery is the crucifixion of our Lord Jesus. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciples there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her into his home. Jesus wishes to see us closer to his mother. He wishes that, like children, we keep our hand in the hand of Mary. That is what he wants. He asks us to look to the heavenly mother that is de that is depend on her. He asks that we accept our lady as our true mother who will ignite in us a fervent love of her son. Mary, we trust in you. Make us and put us in the refuge of your immaculate heart. Heal your humility, our pride, so that so often takes far from God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Thou Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, we love you. Save the souls of the unborn children, all souls in purgatory, all priests and religious, and all marriages and families. Uh... St. Pope John Paul II, pray for us. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn them, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray, O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee that by meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly to thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, simple and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer it. Amen. Praying for the intentions of the Pope. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all of the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'd like to thank you for joining us, and look forward to seeing you next time.